Hank from Main Green. Hi, Gary. Been involved a lot with the shutdown, and you know, I think I have a little credibility just because what we were saying back then actually took place, and now it's shut down because of Edison's own, you know, mismanagement of the steam generator replacement. They didn't listen to their own engineers and stuff. But now we're we've been fighting a different kind of battle because we all want the nuclear waste removed from our town as soon as possible. But the way Edison is proceeding is very irresponsible in the long term. What I'm afraid of is that if they once they put all the canisters from the wet pools into the dry storage, they're just gonna call the Department of Energy and say, all right, it's your problem. We never signed up for long-term storage. And the DOE is the one that failed us. And then Edison's going to leave us with canisters that were designed for temporary use only. And once they start showing any signs of wear or leaking or cracking, they can't be moved, which means they'll just stay here indefinitely. And I'm really disappointed in Eric's article because I went to the same meeting he reported on and there were 18 speakers, all of them expressing concerns about what do we do if there's a leaking canister? Because this is the meeting that we were promised for months and months about what do we do with the leaking canister? And they've always said, well, we're gonna have a meeting just on defense in depth. And the only thing they talked about at this meeting on defense in depth was what are we making progress in, in terms of detecting any problems with the little robots that can go in and look for microscopic cracks? And that's an important step, but it does not talk about defense in depth. It's like, okay, if we find a crack, what do we do with it? How are we gonna protect our community from this long-term disaster waiting to happen? And they have no answer. They use the whole meeting to talk about other things, and they ran out of time that even speakers that were there didn't get a chance to talk. So in Eric's article, he's talking about things that um, Tom Palmasano apparently promised. It sounds like we have nothing to worry about. It sounds like Edison's capable of dealing with the leaking canister. And that was never even discussed. This defense in depth, DID, is really DIDNT. They never got around to it. And I don't think it's responsible writing to ignore facts that I've shared with you time and time again about the dangers our community is being put at because of the, the problems, you know, Edison is looking out for their own interest. They proved before with the leaking steam generators that they could care less about our community. They wanted to restart a defective reactor without even fixing it first to see what happens. I mean, they have the worst safety record in the nation and now we're trusting them to deal with this nuclear waste in our backyard. I think we have to do more reporting on what the real dangers are and we have to decide if these canisters need to be reloaded or what we're gonna do about it in a realistic way. We have to deal with the truth and we're not getting the truth, we're only getting one side of it. So I wanna hear where your information came from, Tom Palmasano, why you're so confident that there's answers to this? I never said in the article that I was that there would be confident for the answers. I, I, what I did is I reported exactly what was said at the uh, CEP meeting. We can always follow up with more on this topic. I intend to, actually. But you, it sounded like we had a meeting on defense in depth, and we never got to what they're going to do about preparing it. And you report it as if there's an answer. So we're just taking Tom Paul Masano's word that Oh yeah, we can take care of it. Then let's meet and talk about this more. I told you that. Right? Out in France. And we can we can report further on this, Gary. There's no. And, and we talked you about this in depth before, Eric. So when we have when was great, you know, when was the last time we talked about it? Journalists are here. Right. Right.